guys, welcome to episode number 25 of Train Sim Journeys. And today I am driving on the West Highland Line at last. And today is the first time I will be driving the lovely 156 on Train Simulator. So um, I'm going to try and keep this one a bit more informed and uh, have much more audio going on because uh, last time and a few other times before it hasn't happened. So. Let me get the cab set up because you haven't got long here. So, um, welcoming today's guest, it's Alex, Alex from Alex's Trains. Hello, Alex. Hello. And uh, whilst I get the cab set up, I'm just going to get straight into this. Um, Alex, I'll leave it to you to read out today's calling pattern. Okay, so we call at Helen's, well, we start at Helen's Upper. We call at Gaelock Head, uh, Arocca and Tarbert, Ard Louis, and then we split at Korean Larrick and one half will go to Oban and we'll continue on to Karur and then after Korean Larrick we call at Upper Tindrum, Ridge of Orkey, Rannoch and Karur. Indeed. So there's that one. Uh, you just, you, you've got the working up there haven't you um, Alex? Would you yes remind I have. Me, Would you kindly remind me of the head code there so I can register it here? It is... Um, what, the open half or the Malay calf? Uh, the, uh, just, yeah, the Malay calf will do. Uh, one Yankee 41. Alright, no worries. It's... Oh, hang on. It's, uh, having a bit of a moment. Mm hmm Oh, okay, I've just got the live. Oh. oh, okay, I guess I've got to take the things out. So you may hear a bit of background noise. Okay, no worries. Well, the doors are open anyway, which is good. Oh, I don't need the cab lights on all that sprite. Alright, okay. I didn't think Helensborough Upper looked that bare, to be honest. No, it doesn't. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Mm. Right, doors should be closing any minute. I feel like, um, where is it? Uh, wait a minute, I'm just gonna see. That's a rookie in a safe driving in from Helensborough Upper. I drove the wrong way, but there we go, we're driving the right yeah, way now. Yeah, I just saw I, I had the reverse of the wrong way around. Sorry, I uh, I'm getting that. used to keyboard controls, guys, so um, do forgive me. We are now departing Helen's Barapa. So, Alex, welcome to your first episode of Train Sim Journeys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, what on earth is that? That is... Mm -hmm. Oh, glitchy, glitchy 156. Anyway, let's carry on. Um, yeah, welcome to your first episode of Train Sim Journeys. And I know it's nothing special, but still, I'm just being friendly. Um, yeah. We're going on our first curve. So, uh, I'm going to probably spend the time during this uh, video to talk to you mostly about Scotland and about the railways. As much as we're all missing the railways right now, aren't we? Um, yeah. We have to live with what we've got right now. And at least Train Sim mm -hmm. is here. At least. 
indeed. So, um, first thing I want to talk about, West Highland Line, just out of curiosity, right? Have you ever been on it yourself? Um, I've been to, I haven't been on it uh, properly, but I, I've i walked up to Hel uh, Helensborough up before. Okay. How long ago was that, would you say? Um, I think it was mid to late, mid, mid or late 2013 to around March, April 2014. Okay. Seven, six or seven years ago now. Just looking at the timetable, because it says... For some reason I've gone wrong somewhere because it's not speeding up again. Hang on. Oh yeah, I I I am not a very good driver at train sim. It's not that, it's just more Yeah. I'm gonna have to just quickly stop and then start again. I, because it, I, it said the um, it says the distance of of the how far apart stations are, but it's not. Yeah, um, this um, particular train station journey I'm doing, guys, just to let you know, is very much. Um, not going to be accurate with the actual timing of what it says on real time oh. trains. Now we have departed uh, Helensborough Upper at 0907, which is the actual booked working. But uh, because of the way train sim is laid out and the way it's designed the speed limits and the track, uh, DTG have done this route. So, uh, but basically, um, it's not representative or very um, accurate of the genuine real timings. So, will be at a point where yes. maybe um, it will be it will look like we're late even though we're not yeah oh is that an abandoned station I think we just passed an abandoned station yes yeah because the streams a little bit uh, the twitch streams a bit delayed yes it is yeah oh gosh that is high enough A lot of um, inclines and steep curves. Yeah, on the, going up into the highlands. Indeed, a very very challenging route highlands. indeed. And I can imagine for any Scotrail driver who's having to drive this route, I can imagine how challenging it must be. Yeah, but the scenery makes it all better. Absolutely. Have a look at the have a look at the interior on the lovely Saltire uh, Scotrail 156. You'll just see it um, pop up on your end in a minute. Yeah, oh, that, that actually looks really good. And I can move the camera around, so if you look, I've got like a central a central angle yeah. of the actual... Uh... Hey look, some tickets. I wonder where they're going to, let's have a look. Yeah. Great Yarmouth to Norwich. Nice. Yeah. It could be because the they used to have 156s on the that or around the I, I don't I don't know where it is. Uh, the, it's the because, lines around yeah, go on. Right, yeah, 
Uh, I was going to say, um, the reason that it's doing it is because um, the default 156 that comes with train sim was uh, a great, I think it was an Anglia one. So the interior yeah. has the tickets on it. I might, it might have mm. the tickets on it, it might not. I might be wrong there, but that might be a logical reason as to why. Yeah. And just before we arrive at... Uh, uh, Gerlock, Gerlock Heads, there's some very, very, very tight corners there. So we probably go down to something like 15 odd miles an hour. Oh, right, yeah, that'll be fun. And also, um, after after Korean Larrikins, uh, upper wait, is that Upper Tindrum? Yeah. Yes, it is Upper Tindrum. Okay, we're about three miles outside of Gaelic Head, the first station call on our service today. Mm -hmm. At the moment we're on relatively... I find the keyboard control is brilliant, I think it's cool. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. No worries. So unlike what Alex said before about him not being on this line, I've been on it. Uh, 2018 Scotland trip, you guys will remember I did some videos there. I did a video diary, um, which was uh, the last video diary I did actually, I think. No, it wasn't, it was the second before last. Um, no, third before last even. And it was effectively just a story of um, the trip over to Malay, because I did another one after that, which was a trip over to Wick. And I did another one after that, which was a trip to... Uh, well, it was the Flying Banana HST, so those were my last video diaries. But the West Highland Line has to be one of the best experiences I've had on a railway. And a lot of the best experiences I've had, funnily enough, appear to be in Scotland. So yeah, I'll admit there's some really beautiful scenery, but this one is up there. It does take probably half of the cake because the Kyle line also takes that, but it's very good. The thing is with this is you have to apply the brakes a lot only because with this particular route the gradients are ridiculous. So you have to uh, apply the brakes tenfold almost. Now, it's a lot easier to talk to you guys now because I'm using the keyboard, so... Well, I don't know why I've been ignoring it. By the way, if you guys, uh, you guys might not remember Alex, but Alex was in uh, the Elstree Elst and Boring would happen in the Luton Airport Parkway videos, and funnily yeah. enough, so was his brother. Yeah. And he, I'm guessing that brother that's annoying you. Yeah. I'm guessing that brother that's annoying you is also that same brother who's in. Well, is it that same brother who came on the trip with us? Yeah, I only have one brother. You only have one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he. The only reason why he came really is because um, uh, my nana lives in that area. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! We're coming to that really tight curve. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's Speed very, very tight. Down. Speed limit doesn't go down surprisingly. Yeah, very low gradients. Not surprised by that at all. Yeah. Oh, there. Oh, it goes down to 15 there. This one's not so tight. We are running about two minutes late. That is down to uh, us having to stop in the middle of nowhere. So then re accelerate to start up the throttle for the 156 again. Yeah. 
and the other time was well there was no other time that oh no the other time was because we reversed by accident but yeah no i was just saying to um people watching that i've been to scotland in the past and i think it's um and i've been on this line and i think it's a really good experience yeah i mean i really i mean next to make up for this year instead of going a few days it's in scotland i'm probably going to do um i'm probably going to do about a week uh so purely because i only want to like do like one or two days where i don't film anything i just ride on the trains yeah no no of course that's a good idea and i wanted to do the this sort of area i won't go up to malay because there's nothing really amazing there right so now we're approaching gaelic head down to 15 oh i can see the platform and the uphill gradient is very very noticeable here Some stations just are just a few huts and a few houses and a few buildings and a platform and that's it. Yeah, I know, it's, it's a bit crazy. It sort of reminds me of this game on um, Roblox called, um, what's it called? Um, I think it's called yeah oh yeah somewhere rail somewhere Wales where like all the stations are just little halts and little wooden platforms and stuff. Okay. Right, we've now arrived into our first calling point. Yeah, lockhead. Oh, just close messenger. Cause I'm, cause I always. Um, I always multitask. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Which is not surprising. Right, we've arrived into Gaelic Head. Shall I, say, I try doing the announcement? Can do if you want. Well, I'll, I'll try just saying this is Gaelic Head. It might, um, it might not sound very good because I, I haven't obviously done that for ages. Oh. Or maybe at the next stop, which is Arocca and Tarbert. Yeah, Arocca and Tarbert, I think it's pronounced. Ar Arocca and Tarbert, yeah. Oh. Right, so just to fight his gear like head, the next station is Arocca and Tarbert. Mm hmm. Well, at least this isn't as loud as 39122. Oh, goodness. Yeah. I mean, 390s are literally one of my favourite trains out there. Probably because it's the West Coast Main Line, and I absolutely love the West Coast Main Line. So, um, interesting point, as um, Alex also pointed out, was that on the at Korean Larrick we do divide. So um, normally, what happens is the front unit, which I'm driving now, would then be the open service. However, train sim is not as easy as that. So what we're going to do is we will then um, we'll stop at. Korean Larrick, we will then detach the rear unit of the train.
and then uh, leave that one as it is, and then we'll take four cars to Kuro. Mm -hmm. And then where normally the service would continue on to Fort William and Malay. Yes, that's correct, yeah. And I, I've got a feeling, uh, where is it? No, that's internet. Coming along with another tight curve over here, in amongst some quite nice scenery, but as you say, it does yeah. get better over a little yeah. different period of time. Like, beyond Korean Larrick, it gets a lot better. Glen Finnan is on the bit to my lake, so that'll be on. Yeah. Between Lockheel outward bound and. Nope. Between. Is it? No, yeah. Lockheel, Lockheel side and. Just finding it Lockheel Lort, I believe. Surprisingly, Corpat. Corp Copa and Banivia quite close together. Indeed. Right, I see what the problem is, right? When I'm accelerating, I need to make sure I turn the notch down before I then release the brake, uh, start applying the brakes, because otherwise it will yeah. just... Sorry, it's fixed now anyway, but still. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm just looking on Google Maps because there's this place at Roy Bridge. Alright. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember what it was called, but it's full it is falls of something. There's Bridge of Orc. Oh, I know the one. Um that's on. That's after Fort William, isn't it? I think. Wait a minute. Um, let me just go onto the messenger. And then um, I'll we'll get the link back up because it's a bit difficult to. So there's quite a few um, quest stops. Well, not, not. I don't think we pass. We stop at any request stops because uh, Lockheed Sides, Glenfin, and Lock Airlock, and Beesdale are all request stops. Yes, indeed. Um, Falls of Kruikan. That one. Uh, yeah, yeah Falls of Kurikan. Oh, one. that's near, um, between Lock, Lockhart, Lockar, I think. Lock Islands. Lockar, or Lockor and Tainalt. Oh, stops for, yeah, um, yeah. Open. So Lock Islands, the one after Fort William, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, That's because I've not been to Oregon, I've been walked. to Malay, though. Yeah. Because I, I looked on Google Maps, I was looking for it, but I didn't actually see it. Oh, fair. Did you not? Which of all? It doesn't... It doesn't say that the station's there for some reason. It is there though. It's a strange... The West Highland's always been a bit... 
funny the yeah. timings and the way it's laid yeah. out. Right. Oh my gosh. What's that boy? Um. So we are six, uh, seven or miles away from uh, yeah. Ara 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 and Harbour. Araka and Harbour, that's the one. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, but because we're pretty much in 40 mile per hour zones throughout this whole route. Yeah, it's quite slow because of the, of course. Because of all these curves. All these really, really sharp curves. We are running a couple of minutes behind some, schedule. Yeah. Uh, oh well. Yeah. Uh, there's another quite sharp curve not too far before we get into Araka and Tarba. Okay. And it looks like there's like a little siding. You've got a very good knowledge of this line, more than I would ever have. Yeah. I mean, I did I did used to look on Google Maps a lot. This route fascinated me a lot, did it? Draw maps. Fair. Did this, route, did this route fascinate you a lot then? Yeah. What it might have done. I mean, I think my favourite place is probably... Carreau, I, ha I have to say. Carreau or Glenfinnan for me, both of them are amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's like... The nearest road is the A82, I think, which is quite a while away. How do people get around? Is it only the train? I think I think they only go there really for like the Karua station house and for like hiking. Yeah. But there's every Wednesday I watch this video from Jeff and Vicky and they um they spent like a day a couple of days working for the uh Karua station house and they have to go Every Wednesday morning they have to go down to like this place, I don't know where it is, but there's like this little private road that just runs up through the mountains, or, yeah. Oh, we've got a 15 mile per hour zone coming up. Oh yeah, and then it goes back up to 25. Yeah. That's probably that curve that I talked about. Um, probably so, yeah. We'll have a look. We're getting near it now, so... Yeah. As if we see any sidings. And then... It's kind of a sort of line that just goes... Stays on normal flat grounds for the first bit, until just beyond Hensborough, and then we start going up and then back down, and then back up, and then back down, and back up again. Yeah, this is the sidings. Indeed. I just noticed that myself. Oh, let's... I don't know why it goes down to 15. 
actually it could be because that bit that bit is quite sharp small but very sharp it's on a single track and it seems to curve away from another track so it's a loop over so i'd imagine that's yeah. probably why still semaphores on here indeed there is yes oh but here we go anyway I didn't, I didn't know that line went went that far up because it goes up at a really steep gradient it's gonna like say right at the end of this map where we finish at career it's gonna say speeding ten thousand times So I think it says that place, the little siding, or next to whatever that is, is like Glen Douglas Defence, whatever that says, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, we're about to run on time into um, our current yeah. harbour as well. Yeah, we're about 15 seconds late. Well, and then we run on 25 for about a mile, and then yeah, back up to 40 again because of. Then that road, I know, I'm being very, very specific. That road is Tullock Road. By the way, this is just the outside of it. Right now, we've got a triple set of one five sixes. So, yeah, there they are. Go! Oh, look at that! Look at the scenery going beyond that. Uh -huh. That is stunning. You'll see that in a minute. Yeah, I know. It's kind of funny because you're pretending to be a helicopter. Yeah, it's really nice around that area. And we're up to 40 in a minute, 40 mile per hour. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just shut down the bit stream, we're done. Why does it say episode 23, Newcastle to Edinburgh? Oh, I don't edit the title on that, I oh. just edit it on YouTube. Of course, because it's like 5,000 views. Oh yeah, that's just because it's all time, I think, that's based on. Yeah. I don't promote it, so nor will I own it's only ever seen for you guys and people who've been on trains and journeys before. So, in your opinion then Alex, what is your favourite train in Scotland? So which class of train for ScotRail? Let's just let's just set a criteria for this. Which current day traction for ScotRail do you think is the best? Oh, that's a really, 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 really hard question for me to answer because I love them all. But I have to say, I know I've I've heard this from your video that lots of people hate don't well not hate but don't uh, aren't the biggest fans of the HSTs on ScotRail. But I have to say. Either the 334, the HST, or 385. They're good. If it were me, yeah. I mean, the 334 is a good commuter route. The amount of track, yeah. the amount of miles it covers throughout the day is crazy. Yeah, and I love how it's like a bit of a bit of all the scenery because, like, it's all it's all like tunnelly and all industrial and. Uh, suburb and like around Edinburgh and then it gets out into the countryside and then between sort of Edinburgh Park and uh, Airdrie and then it sort of goes back into this back, back to suburb scenery stuff so you, you could call it because I know what you're saying when it's you say Tunley you could call it like a subway style sort of route yeah yeah and then it basically just goes into the subway cell for a few miles between High Street and 
beyond Charing Cross. Hartick looks really good. Yeah, yeah I'm just it's busy, isn't it? That station. Yeah. We're about two miles out of our current target now. So here's a question for you, and I need your reason why, okay? Another Scotland based one. So, for you, Alex, Edinburgh Waverley or Glasgow Central? Which one do you prefer? I have to say, I have to say, um, Glasgow Central for the variety, um, because, like, I like the, well, I, I'm, I don't really know how to work this, to be honest. Um, so Glasgow Central for like the traction there and stuff, and um, uh, Edinburgh Waverley for um, like the. Well, I, I don't know how to work this. Um, wait a minute, and then like. Waverly for like, or yeah, yeah. That's a really hard question. It is tricky, isn't it? I mean, is there bits yeah, of Edinburgh really that you tricky. do like? Hmm? Are there parts of Edinburgh Station that you do like? I really, my favourite bit is probably there's like that. I think Waverly's good. That it, I think it's really. Like it links onto a, a um, it links onto a little shopping place thing. Oh, it was a shopping centre. Uh, yeah, the shopping centre. And I remember when the eight hunt, the IETs and Azumas or whatever, whatever. Azumas. On, uh, yeah, don't, don't get everyone Azumas, started. Yeah, Azumas. Yeah, they're probably gonna uh, all start off in the chat. Probably. Of, when uh, when it gets premiered. Anyway, um, yeah, we we were at Princess Street, and yeah, there was the IET that was departing in about ten minutes. So me, um, me and some of my friends were literally we shot out of. We had to run up a really steep hill to Princess Street. Gardens East is sort of on a hill, and um, we had to shoot into the uh, um, shopping centre, and the um, uh, the traffic lights were holding us up annoyingly, and we literally had to run at least three quarters of a mile and we managed to get there within about yeah it it takes me so so long to say stuff no no don't worry take your time bud we got ages yeah oh and we're arriving at Arocca and Tarbert we are indeed oh, I was just about to say Arocca. that yeah we're approaching Arocca and Tarbert now in the next station Mm -hmm. And we're about a minute late, so we, we've made up time, yeah, which is good news. Late. And um, before the uh, what? Well, yeah, before the video, um, I was literally speaking so much about weird place names in Scotland. Yeah, there are some funny names in Scotland. I I, I certainly yeah. know some. And we we I know this is crazy, but we had to drive the whole. We drove the whole route when when it was my first and last ever time on Virgin or what was Virgin. We um when when we went back up to Scotland because of course I lived there. Um, we had to. We had to drive the six, six, seven odd hours, and we saw the sign. We were about an hour and a half away. We saw a sign just gone into the, 
just gone through the border of Scotland and we found a place called Eccle Fecton. Oh, fair enough, really? Yeah. Oh, I think we're ready. And the next stop will be Cree and Larry. I believe. No, Ard Louis. Forgot about Ard Louis. Yep, the next station is Ard Louis. And then we'll run along the. Uh, Loch Lomond, I've been there before. Loch Lomond, yes. And, and at yeah, some between point... Here and, between here and um, Ard Louis will run along the northern end of Loch Lomond. Now here's something interesting about this line, right? I just want to discuss this line because when I... Um, and I, I, You'll probably agree with me here on, the, on my highlights because I just wanted to... Now that we're on this route, let me mention some of the highlights I had from when I went on the West Highland Line. So, when I went on it, um, I went on it with um, Nathan, his channel's OK in Trains UK, I think he's still got it anyway. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I went on it with him, and we had a really, really good time, and we saw some amazing things. He's been on the line before, so he knew about them, but I didn't know about them. So uh, we went on the line, um, and there were, there were some things that we did see that we really, really liked, and some things that we saw that where I just stand out moments. So I just want to name them to Alex and see if he agrees. So let's, let's see. So one of the bits I really, really liked, which was the first bit, was the horseshoe curve. Where's that? That is just after Cree and Larrick, as you're going towards Rannock. Um, up, no, after up in Tyndrum, I think. It's sort of, you know where, it's sort of like where you go around that really, really big curve and you can see the track from the other side. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's one of the curves that I talked about. Yeah, the horse, it's called the horseshoe yeah. curve. Um, another bit is the when original. you're going after Korea and you go through like this really, really desolate, like abandoned area where there's like a really weird, like wooden tunnel you go through. Really? Yeah, I love that bit. And then the other bit is the oh. Glenfin and Viaduct. Oh yeah, of course. Glenfin and Viaduct is amazing. I'll just point out though, when you get to Malay, the phone signal is terrible. Probably. Wait, is it high up? Malay is the Malay is really high up, isn't it? So. Yeah, it's it's not particularly that far north, but it's pretty north. Yeah. It's not as far as Inverness. Oh no, no, it's not as north as that. No. I'd say it's more west than anything. Yeah, it's more west, but it still goes north, of course. Oh, wow, that looks really nice. It does, doesn't it? No, some of the, um... I'm just looking on Street View of Malay, and, like, alongside the station, but it sort of reminds me of, like, a little American town, or, like, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. It sort of reminds you of, like, one of those little villages you see in America, or one of those little areas. Yeah. Aries you see in America. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And, uh, I believe the bit just before Mora, the last stop before Malay, there's a little, it's kind of on a different, on like a little, a small island because there's a river that the river Mora, yeah, which splits mainland Scotland with that little bit, or no, or no, oh no, because it, um, yeah, because I forgot it joins back up and there's Loch Mo Loch Loch Mora, and there's a very similar place, not not too far from Malay. Very similar to Arako and Tarbo, it's Tarbo. Yeah. Sorry if I went quiet there for a second, I just went to turn my fan on. It's getting more warm, so... Uh, it's I getting just, really warm in here. Yeah, so. I just turned my fan on to cool down a little bit. 
Anyway, right. Now, another thing that I, I really like is there's actually one, I'll, I'll tell you a really good story and I'll, I'll do my best impression as well, but me and Nathan, when we were on the train going to Malay, we bumped, we had a guard called Susie and she was amazing. She was so lovely, she was so friendly um, and really, yeah, really, really enthusiastic. Friendly, yeah. But Susie, all right, the, Susie, the guard, she was based at Korean Larrick, so she did Korean Larrick to Malay section. So, when we got to, um, hang on one sec, yeah, when we got to Korean Larrick, she got on the train, and when we got to Glenfinnan, or just outside Glenfinnan, she was like, and ladies and gentlemen, if you see outside your window, you've got the famous Harry Potter Bridge, the Glenfinnan Viaduct, she was like, oh, no, and I think there's that, I put, I put it on Facebook. Um, that ooh bit I did is genuinely what she did. I'm not just making that up. Go on. And um, I'm just going to go right back to one of my first posts on Facebook. Could you imagine being a driver on the street? You must love it. Yeah. I can imagine. Very just... challenging for the. Uh, very challenging, but um, yeah, very challenging, but really nice scenery. Absolutely, yeah, gradients and steep curves and everything make it a very, uh, probably one of the most challenging routes in the whole of the UK. I'd say there's probably others because there are other routes that have mixed signals as well, like different types of signals all in one route. That's probably more trickier. Here it is. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it is Glenfin, and there's this. Uh, there's this uh, BBC News Scotland news article where, back in January, there was this. Uh, deer, I don't know what it was, but it uh, a 156 was following it all the way up the line. What deer? Yeah. Wow. And. It, and um, we're about to approach a tunnel, by the way. But yeah, no, sorry, you, it was following a deer and, um, all the way up the line. Well, not all the way up the line, but the bits of the line. And um, and the thing, I, I responded to it, and I said, well, Scotland's new tour guide. <laughs> Should be a, a station pet like Felix. Oh yeah, Huddersfield. Yeah, it's not a cat; it's a deer this time. So, how about the Malay station deer? Huh. I'm, oh, I'm lovely! Imagining if lovely, my lovely. Cat Look at that. Would be a um, if my cat would be the station cat of Sandy. What was your cat called, called again? Is it Dora? Dora. Dora, yeah. Does your Dora like to explore? Um, when the weather's good, yeah. But she hasn't been, she hasn't very much uh, this winter, of course. But I'm guessing that's why you called her Dora. Well, we did. We when we got her back in 2013, uh, she she was already called Dora. So I think the they already named her. Okay, it's a lovely name for a cat. Yeah. And just just a, just for the viewers to picture, what colour is your cat? Um, she's black and white. Oh. Or um, or as somebody on my school bus said, um, somebody on my school bus said um that it's really cute when there's a cat that has. That their their actual leg is is um white. Uh, no, their actual leg is black and their paw is white. Yeah, no, that is cute because it stands out really well. Yeah, and I saw this thing. Yes, I know. I, I'm pro I literally ran on about TikTok all 
all day these days. And um, these I days. This... <laughs> Go on. And um, I saw this funny TikTok cats thing, and it said, and in one of them, he said, um, what was it? Why does on on my cat's front legs? What? Why does why does he wear ankle socks? And on uh, his back legs, he wears um wears like pull up socks or like whatever they do. That is um, interesting. Yeah, for interesting. sure. Yeah. And we're about a mile out of Ardlui. We are, this is where we pass the train as well. Have we? Ardlui is a meeting point for uh, a... Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Malay to Glasgow Queen Street. Mm -hmm. No, I saw this YouTube video and somebody, um, somebody drove back, uh, back in February last year, um, somebody drove a pacer from Paddington to Penzance, and it took them like nine hours. I can imagine that, that's the mental, didn't you say they stopped at all stops or something? Yeah, stop at all stops, and that, that must have been... If if that's if that happened in real life, I would be laughing my head off. Here. An idea for train sim journeys? <laughs> Not really. Well, it'll well, be a maybe. nine hour episode then. I split into seven parts. Then that one, no, maybe more than that. Depends on how many parts it needs. Yeah. I'll split it into as a, into as many parts as needed. So maybe one part an hour. So nine parts. Yeah. That idea is good. Oh, okay. I'll be back in a minute. Alright. So we're now approaching uh, Ardlui. We've got another 15 mile per hour zone coming up as well. And as you can see, the beautiful virtual scenery as we go along into uh, Ardlui now. We are running a little bit behind schedule. We are still about a couple minutes late, but we will make use of that as we will. Hopefully we won't hold anything up. I was just about to do the Scottish announcement, but I thought we are now approaching Art Louis. My my friends. Uh, Terrible Scottish accent. Sounds, and um, he sounds Indian when he. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh no, this this is the uh, this is the Scott round. So it kind of goes like, we are now approaching Art Louis. Please mind the gap when I like you from this train. <laughs> literally, no, I'm, not, I'm not even being loud. That is literally how they go. It's so like. Such a well, on the one five sixes, it sort of the announcements are a bit like it sounds like the announcements have got a bit of a lisp. Eh, maybe, but I, I don't really see that. But yeah, here we are anyway, approaching Ardley. Here is the other one five six. Well, it sound when it sounds it sounds like it says we are now approaching. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the 156. That, that hill's beautiful. And we're going to now run alongside the River Fallop. Fallop, yeah. Then the next stop after this is Pre and Larrick, where we, where we split with the service to... Um, Oban via. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do all the. So the Oban after Cree and Larrick, the Oban service is caught at Chindrum Lower, Dormali, 
Locale lock, lock or Locor, something like that. Um, Sometimes, I think it's only a cup, one or two a day at Falls of Kruikun. And then Tainalt, Connell Ferry, and Oban. Yeah, I know. I think they tried to keep it as as realistic as they could, to be honest. Yeah. It's either the front or the interior of the train that's my favourite bit. Yeah, we just departed Ardlury anyway. And the next station is Cree and Larrick, where this train will divide. Okay, so, um, yeah, like I was saying about this line, I, I do think it's a very nice line, and I do think the staff who operate it are very much um, yeah. enthusiastic people, but I wouldn't blame and them, the really. People, um, uh, like, people in general up there, they are really, really, really polite and nice up there. That's good. I mean, we were, last year, we got the plane, I absolutely hated it. Or I didn't hate it, but it was, it where was did my you first get, where did, time on a plane. Where did you fly to? Uh, we went from um, London Luton Airport up to Glasgow. Okay. And then, when we had a bit of an, a problem paying or getting tickets on the airport bus link into the city centre or where we got we got it to Queen Street and then um and then uh, the driver was really really nice about it. Oh cool. And then we struggled with the train times a little bit and because um I hadn't I hadn't been on a train very much before that because I only started spotting like back in 2018. Yeah. And the staff at Queen Street were really nice about it, and then we got the a 385 across to Haymarket. Hey, that's good. That's a nice story though that that sort of country is really nice. It's got really nice citizens and nice people. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I'll admit that. I'll agree with you there. That it's, be it's a stunning place, and I I've seen so many good things. Like that, this line in particular, the Kyle line, the um, Far North line. They're all really, really yeah, good. Yeah, Far North. And uh, the bit, the uh, the line between Dundee and Aberdeen. That, that's quite nice. Yeah, a bit between Aberdeen and Inverness is good, and also the. Um, yeah. I can't remember what it's called now, not far north, but it's the, um, there is a name for it. Highland Main Line between Stirling. Highland Main Line, that was it, yeah, between, um, yeah, Perth and Inverness. Oh, yeah. Perth and Inverness. Yeah. Yeah, um, I think Stirling's a really, really good station. Perth is a really, really good station as well. Yeah. Perth is a beautiful station. It's it's on a bit of a weird layout to be honest. What paraf yeah, weird... paraf is, yeah. There's quite a lot there's I mean it's I can't really explain it because I can't see it basically because the Yeah. View. It's got like this old train shed. Kinda reminds me a little bit like Preston. Yeah, Preston. And I think somewhere like Crew would would do with a with a uh, like some of the canopies they they're not actually canopies they're just 
bits of steel work and they don't... Yeah, exactly. It's a bit like um, Bristol Temple Meads, that's the same. Um, that train shed is just, um, it's not like a canopy, it's a train shed that was designed by Isambard, King, Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Yeah, and apparently the station uh, wasn't always on a curve. I think it used to like used to go like straight, and then it curved after the station. Yeah. Right, we're on another curve now. Speaking of curves, we're on another yeah. one. Twenty-five mile per hour zone. I'm gonna try and do a. Um, an announcement when we're approaching Green Larry. Oh no, we don't. I thought we went through. We went through Fort Lee. No, <laughs> no, not yet. No. Well, we won't in this episode, will really, you? No, not in this episode. The next episode is Career to Fort William. So, well, it's not the next yeah. one after this, but it's the next part yeah, of like this route. Really yeah. And then lastly, the third and final part will be Fort William to Malay. How far are we from? Uh, five miles from Korean Larry. Yes, five or so miles now. Oh yeah, we are on, we're on that really tight curve going over the dub, dub east, or I, I don't know how to say that. I think I know where you mean. Yeah. The bit near in, in Inver, Inver, Inveranen, I, some places are harder than others. <laughs> they are. Like <laughs> yeah, Wales is a whole other level. I think Wales is top for difficult names. And yeah, there. and um, some places, um, some places in around the Devon Cornwall area, like um, King Kings near Newton Abbot, Kings Hainton, King Staten. I think you're on a map. Yeah, yeah. Can't remember the name of it. I know where you're on about, but sort of my knowledge of but that near, area is really, really poor. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, Near, uh, not too far from Penzance, found a place called Gweek. Yeah, there's that one. Yeah, I know the one. And of course, Flamvia Plwingwing. Oh, don't start that one. No. <laughs> I'm gonna try and take plan plan. Well, well. Clanvaya, Pugwin, Gilgoga, Ukrendrob, Ulandasilio, go, go, go. That's my attempt. Uh, I, I'm bad. impressed too. Very, very good. I mean, I mean, there's, there's this weather person. I saw this video and he literally said it. At, like, like, he. He didn't even pause and stop to see it, surprisingly. The train's just like, I'm gonna make your ears bleed, here you go. No, the train's just like, I'm going to be as difficult as I can by going up these gradients. Yeah. In fact, no, that's not the well, train doing that. that. That's the railway line well. doing that, actually. Yeah. Well, we're four miles outside of uh, Cree and Larrick now, where we're going to meet another train. I saw and, this uh, thing, yeah. um, and it said, um, normal march, it was raining, normal, normal, uh, normal march, 
it was pouring. Normal march in London, normal march in general, it was pouring down. Normal march in quarantine, however, not not a bit of rain. No, that sounds right, yeah. What? I just found this piece of string. Um, I don't know what this is. I, I know I'm kind of going a bit off topic. No, no, it's fine. Like I say, we've got ages, so you carry on. <laughs> yeah, we've got ages. God, look at all these camera views. Oh, let me just go back in the Oh, yeah. In the interior. That looks good. I'm not a big fan of the ironing board seats. No, I'm not either. I mean, I thought the... I mean, I was really annoyed because I was... Because I heard news that uh, the 385s will be taking over the... Um, the uh, Edinburgh Glasgow via shop services and um, I was really annoyed because they had done it a month after I was up there. That is what the 385 is going on it yeah. Um, yeah it's always when you don't want it to happen it happens yeah and the annoy and the annoying thing is as well um, all the whenever I can't go out um, whenever I can't go out, uh, all the special stuff decides to pop up. <laughs> it's because they won't have any like, enthusiasts taking pictures of them. Today, through my local, and there was the, uh, measurement train, the network rail HST the other day. The thing is with the, you said the network rail HST, I think yeah. that's um, flying banana just goes here, there and everywhere. Yeah. Jeez, I just spun that bit of string around, oh no, it's hit my phone screen, hopefully it's not hit, yeah. Three and a half miles, or just, just three and, just under three and a half miles. Oh, finally on a 40 mile per hour limit about to come up to. How long have, how long have we been on a 25 limit for? About 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. Especially if you're on a, a, on a run like a 390. Uh, yeah. 10 minutes on a 25 limit. Um, not really the best thing for a long distance. Uh, intercity service. Could you imagine a 390 on this line? <laughs> oh my god, it'll probably derail. It would. There's no electrification, so yeah, it would. Well, yeah, obviously. Yeah, there's no electrification. Oh, going into like a little bridge based thing. Indeed, yeah, we're going. I think it's a road bridge we just went under. Yeah, it is. It's the A82. Hey, there's a motorway around it? Blimey. Or at least a, a, a road of some description? Well, um, I'm going to see uh, from Karor where the further is. Where the furthest from where is it? Oh, it's probably just a 
private road. I'm just gonna see how far the road is between uh, Crawl Station itself and the nearest proper road. And if you want to access the road, uh, it's better to go to Tulloch instead. Tulloch, okay. Which is the next stop up from Crawl, I believe. So not too far from uh, Korean Larrick now. I think it's around this street or around the next couple of curves. And then we're pretty much there. Yeah, we are about, well, we're about a mile or so now outside of Korean Larrick, so. Yeah. And it's only just decided to let us speed up again, so... Mm. Oh, that bit of water's really fairly close. That might be the river Thalic again. I don't know if I'm saying that right or wrong. So no people shoot him? Just gonna check Instagram quick. Oh yeah, the annoying thing is, whenever I go out on a, whenever I go out to somewhere like Birmingham, the West Midlands, or Rugby, it always, the journey up gets ruined, because when I went to Rugby, and Nuneaton, and Coventry, in that area, on the uh, 1st of February, yeah. um, there was a lot I got on 350-106, which, which is a naked train. This, is, it, is, it the ghost, is it the ghost one? Like, silver? Yeah. Ghost and it's, um, it's the... It's got a fully refurbished inside. And, um... And, uh... I, I joined, of course, being me, I decided to go on the front of the train on the very front coach got on at Bletchley after getting off at 2.30 from Bedford and then there and then the next stop up at Milton Keynes Central a load of football fans got on and started oh. making noise and rocking back in the chairs and there was football fans sat in front of me Right, we're now approaching, uh, sorry to interrupt you Alex, we're now approaching Korean Larrick. Yep, Korean Larrick. I stopped talking anyway. <laughs> oh, sharp curve, another sharp curve, okay. Yeah. So this is where we divide. Yeah, and then that's. And we've only got three yep. minutes here now, so we've got to make sure we do it. But in in real, realistically, we'd have about the. Wait a minute. Let me just go back onto. I've got a message. Um. So realistically, at Crean Larrick, the Oban half will spend eight minutes there, and the uh, and the Malay half will wait will be uh, fourteen odd minutes at Crean Larrick. Oh, which about fits. Right, we're ready to disconnect the train. So I guess the front of the train will... It's the rear of the train. Me. It's the rear of the train. Oh, it's going. The... Oh, so the rear is going to open in there. Yeah. Um, yeah.
I don't think we can oh, do geez, it. It's still really bright out there. Yeah, we just done it. There we go. Yeah. Okay, I just I've I'm looking on this person's story who did like this quiz and very very specific the they the only Mersey Rail station with a blue footbridge. Oh really? Okay, very specific. Yeah, which that's is High Town. That's a good question that. Hmm, what? Just found a post of uh, 90 sat in Edinburgh Waverley on the eastern side, 90041, and um, it looks, it even looks like the tra the front of the trains rolled round, rolled around in a load of slime or something, or goo or green goo or whatever it is. I think we're about to leave shortly. Yeah, I think we're the 1023 or something. It'll probably be 10, it's normally 1021, but the, the timings on this are messed yeah. up, so we'll just yeah. go whenever. It's even, yeah, it's probably the 1023, but realistically it's the 1021. Yep, yeah. I think it's going in for 1023, I think. Yeah. We've just disconnected from 156503, which is uh, the unit that st stays here, and we'll go to Oban. Mm-hmm. Just seeing photos of the West Coast mainline really wants, really, I really just really want to go to Crewe. Fair enough, yeah. And, um, doing Scotland stuff, or talking about Scotland or looking on Google Maps makes me really want to go back up there. Which is not surprising. Because it was really, really good up there. Yep, 10.23 departure. And then, in a little bit, Oh no, it's, there we yeah, go, we've disconnected about, from it, there we go. There we go. In about 20, 20 odd minutes we'll go around the horseshoe curve. Indeed, the next station on the route is Upper Tindrum. Upper Tindrum, yeah. Upper Tindrum, yeah. Yeah. So, we have... It's only four miles. Oh, oh yeah, of course. So from there, we have Upper Tindrum, Bridge of Orkney, Rannoch and Karoor, which is about another hour away. Something about that, yeah, something like that. Because it to... says, because uh, if we left it, re realistically, it's, uh, it leaves Green Larrick at 1021 and gets back to, and gets to Karoor at 1121, so be around now. Yeah, okay. Oh, that bridge. Yeah, it's across this bridge, around that really tight curve. I can't wait for the horseshoe curve. It's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's there's a bit near Bedford, and uh, or as you go around, as you go out of Bedford on the Thameslink train, you can actually see the back of the train. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not that sharp of a curve as well. Gonna have to make sure we keep the speed limit here, the gradients are mental. Yeah, because it's starting to 
properly get up into the highlands now. Indeed. But I think it's like I think at Karoo it's really high up. But I think it's I think it's not like it's in a valley, but the, it's just flat for a little bit. I don't know why I'm doing hand actions when you can't see. <laughs> he could just try it just for the effect. That's a good idea. So we might, we, uh, on a curve just before up at Indrum, you might be able to see the front of the train, I, or the rear of the train from the I don't know. Probably not, because the curve's not the, not the tightest. Well, we can only hope. Yeah, near, or, or, touch the tyre. I hope you see that. Oh, I love doing that view. If we look backwards, you might actually still be able to see uh, Green and Larry. Yeah, Maybe. no, that looks good. I don't know what it is. That's better. Mm -hmm. I loved, I loved, uh, when, when uh, the Glasgow Central to Wifflet service was operated, when it wasn't electrified, and it was 158s and 156s, um, uh, I loved it when I loved it when the train, when you just hear it start up and then the rattle. No, that is good. Yeah, there we go. Got the lights the right way around now. I always have trouble with that. I'm not the best driver. I I was driving, I know this is a bit weird, I got really, really bored and decided to drive an American train on the Great Eastern Main Line from Shenfield to Liverpool Street. And I didn't want to stop her as well. And oh, I, I like that. That's a nice thumbnail, that. I like that. Yeah, that's a really nice one. And then I drove a 455 somehow. Really? Yeah, on the Great Eastern Main Line. I did the stopper and weirdly, it passed me into platform 11 at, uh, at uh, Liverpool Street and there was already a train there so I managed to couple up with the train somehow. And That's, it formed like um, a 16 car train. Interesting, yeah. Two miles from Upper Tintrum. Indeed, yeah, we're getting good progress made now and we're on right on we're sort of in a valley a little bit yeah we are I didn't realize that I camera mean, view was really there That's... on the um, on the train simulator the scenery isn't great because of course it's just hills and there's nothing really but um, realistically, it's really, really, really nice. Yeah, no, it, this is a lovely route. Mm. Is it jointed track? Yes, I think a little bit, yes it is. Mm. Oh, for crossing. Got a is that a thirty limit I believe. Oh yes, so it is. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I don't know why, but I saw that 
I thought that that said, uh, I thought that said 60. I was gonna say 60 no chance from this part of the line. That'd be a bit crazy, wouldn't it? Yeah. Train would probably derail. Oh yeah, this is the bit that I was talking about. So, yeah, this is that little curve. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, this is the... This is uh, the whole... No, this is not the horseshoe bit. No, we're coming up to that. Yeah, it's a it's lovely, lovely bridge. There. Look at that. Yeah. Ten thirty three. Ten thirty three. Oh, that start up. Or oh, that speed up, not start up. Yeah, the speed up's good. Yep, I can see the station on the HUD. Almost. Yep, yeah, so can I? Yeah, we're approaching uh, upper time, upper tendrum, very shortly. Yeah, upper right, I've it, the on. line's quite straight. And then that's where the horseshoe curve is. Yes, it is. It's between For now. Upper Tundra yeah. and Rannoch. Or, oh, wait a minute. Upper, upper Tundra and... Bridge of Orkey. Bridge of Orkey, yeah. I said Rannoch by well, accident. The three-letter station code is UTY. UT. <laughs> We're now approaching UT, and Bridge of Orkey is bro. <laughs> Cool story, bro. Um, right. Rannick is run. They got funny station codes. Oh my, my brother and sister is probably gonna laugh at this. Um, this MLG Pepper Pig, and um, my and the station code for my lake is MLG. Don't say that too loudly. Oh, you might yeah. hear some sirens. And some air horns. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah you'll hear some sirens and some air horns. <coughs> can't, can't do it very well. I know what you mean. And we right, might... here, we, here we are approaching up a time. Yeah, anyway. we might be able to see Kindrum Lower Station. Because that's on the other side of the village. And then that's where the line... Yeah, I think I just saw it through the bushes. So here we are, Upper Tendrum Station. Upper Tendrum Station. I tried to be the 156 for a minute. Well, it works. Yeah. I'm going to do the announcement now. This is Upper Tindrum. This train is for Mali. The next stop is Bridge of Orkey. It sounds cringy when I hear myself say it. it. Sounds pretty good though. Yeah, I. It's I. That's probably oh oh um. That lady's face though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the people in this game are really weird. 
like they walk off platforms. It's odd. Oh, is is that the station entrance really? Yeah, might well be. Oh my gosh. It's literally It's literally a brick. Oh. At uh at Upper Tindrum there's no um there's literally all it is is just a car park, a few bike racks, and on the National Rails uh, sign to sign to say that the signal that the station's nearby. Nearby, um, it doesn't say Upper Tindrum. It just has the National Rail sign or the British Rail sign. That sounds about right for this sort of line because I don't think they have to signpost it very well. So because it doesn't really make a yeah. difference to them, I don't think, because of where it's located and what they do. And it's very remote. station code for Arasaig is ARG. And then the stop sort of uh, getting towards between Lockheilort and Malay, they're um, they get really close together, or closer. So now on the move, well, should be or oh, six miles. There's not a lot of mileage in between uh, each station, at least. But it's just the, the speed limit to make it seem longer than it is. Yeah. Oh. We might be approaching the thingy soon. Yeah, it's at the Yeah, it's at the end of this straight and then like a couple of curves. And on land that is a steep hill. Or steep mountain. We're actually running to time, but I don't trust that HUD with what the um, what the time is in terms of arriving in uh, yeah. Bridge of Orkey. It's a bit of a weird one. Yeah. For some reason, I I don't know why, but when the train was... Oh, hello. It's uh, a horseshoe curve coming up, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is it. This is it. Sorry. It was almost like breaking news then, the way I said that. Oh, oh sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. Um, it's um, when they train when the train rattles or like sounds like it rattles. And for some reason, my mouth was shaking to it. Yeah. It might be this kind. It is, yeah. Yeah, because it goes down to 30. It goes around this big, uh, big mountain over here. It's a bit. It oh, goes around and over that little wooden bridge place, and then, yep, yeah, it's that. It's, it's the biggest news in the world. We are approaching the horseshoe point. Indeed. 40 round there, my gosh. It's mental, 40 miles per hour around there.
miles 30. Yep, now down to 30 miles per hour. Does, when it says one dot dot fifty five, is that does that um is that the gradient? Yes, that is, yeah. Yeah. I think one in fifty five is how you say it or something like that. Yeah, it's something like that. Yeah. I watched PGT Rail four four odd years ago. I know the one, yeah. Yep, there I can see the line. Yeah. I can see it loops around there. All the way around, yeah. Goes around two bridges. And then that little village place thing is or and then it's not too far up to Bridge of Orkney. Trying to be the train or make the uh, as we go into the tracks. Is that a 50 limit? Uh, yeah, that's a rare one, isn't it? Oh my, my gosh. That's a 50, 50 mile per hour limit. I think mm. it's because the track's a bit more straight. That would make sense. And it, start, and it gets a bit more. It's not really that, cur that curvy. Beyond Bridge of Orkey. Yeah, but it it's uh And then it's near and then it's quite far out of Bridge of Orkey where all the curves start to come. And then we Oh no, uh it's after just after Rannan. Yeah. And then after Rannan and then into that wait, is that wooden tunnel you said about before No the there's the line we just left by the way. Yeah. Is the um The wooden tunnel's after career, so we'll have to see that next time. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I saw a little tunnel. Um I saw a little tunnel just before it oh, not just before, before it. Yeah, there's the shifty limit. Oh my Feels a bit weird. Lots of jointed like, track now. Tree. Yeah. Reminds me of uh, the Abbey Flyer or the Abbey Branch. Well, the locals call it the Abbey Flyer, and I was a local for a couple of years. You've been here, there, and everywhere. You have. Yeah. I know, it's crazy. And then down to 15 before Bridge of Orkney. That's pretty much the trend on this line. It goes fifth from 30 or 40 to like 15. And then back up to... 
Right, now uh, shortly be arriving in Bridge of Orkey. Yeah, in one, one and a half miles. Just under that. Tornadoes uh, done a lot of videos. Tornado 92. Yeah, he joined in a couple of mine as well. Yeah. I and think the last one he joined was like Newcastle to Edinburgh. It was. Where you overshot more pets. That was funny. Yeah. And surprisingly, you were still on, still on time, leaving more pit. Yeah, well, just about on time, leaving more pit. Let's add. Yeah, just about. Okay, we're now we're now approaching Bridge of Orkey. Indeed. And there's literally, it's just a road with a couple side roads that just go off. And then the river there's the River Orkey, or the river near, nearby is the River Orkey. Oh, we're not bad. We're on time. Ish. Mm -hmm. Got the inside of this 156. Sounds like a factory. <laughs> what is... Is there a camera view for the rear of the train? Because it looks like it was it's uh, an unrefurbished interior one. It is indeed. Right, just give me two seconds. Mm -hmm. Right, off we go. Stop swearing, you naughty 156. Very <laughs> rude of you. I always do that. Oh.
and once when I was at uh, Biggles Wade's, uh, my last chance to catch the HSTs, and luckily on that day I saw uh, what was uh, York NRM livery 43238, which was then in uh, Tomato livery, and um, just before I was leaving, there was an Azuma that sat at Biggles Wade for about for more than 10 minutes and I wondered and I watched a video from Cambridge and in the description it said there was reports of a fatality at Stevenage. Stevenage? Yeah. That's and, uh, and it happens a lot on, on that line. A lot. Yeah, it happens at Steven uh, Stevenage, St. Neots quite frequently as well. Yeah. Right, this is our longest stretch, by the way. It's a 21-minute journey to Rannoch, our next station. 15, 15 and a half, or 16 miles. And then it's up to 50 again. done fairly well in terms of picking up because we've uh, yeah. we picked up at um, Bridge of Orkey and um, oh what's it called Upper Tindrum Upper Tindrum we uh, we picked up absolutely fine on those it says we did it successfully as well Yeah. For some reason, came into my room and said me out. <laughs> Why would your dad do that? Uh, I don't know. And then this is where it properly starts to get remote, where there's literally nothing. I thought you said that this is where broccoli starts. I don't see any broccoli. Nor do I want to well, see any broccoli. Trees. Yeah. Well, there's quite a lot of broccoli down down there, or pointy, spiky broccoli. Pointy, spiky broccoli. I'm imagining that right now. might not sound very funny but not far from where we are there's a place Q-Bill alright forty limit coming up yep just slowing down for it pretty much known for 
not speeding, not slowing down in time for um, for speed limits. I'm mostly known as a dry as a driving on train sim for overshooting stations. Uh, I've not done that often. I've done it a couple of times, obviously at um, at Morpeth, but there wasn't uh, other many examples of me doing it. But yeah, I'm, it's. Yeah. Um, Ooh, I've been a one in sixty grade, one in sixty gradient. Yeah, I got to fifty. It's a very steep gradient we're going up now. Yeah, not steep as the one in one hundred and thirty two. It's having a glitchy moment. I like the driver, he looks funny. I can't really see him. You'll see it in a minute. <laughs> oh. His face looks really chubby for some reason. speak one five six language but there you go. Right, you may have just seen it had cut out then and just wanting to see what's going on here. I just had a we've I've been having problems all evening with Virgin Media and that was another one of those problems. Alright, we're still going, that's good. Alright, we're still going. Good, good, right. I'm gonna get Alex back very quickly. And uh, we'll we shall carry on. I'm sorry to keep you guys. There we go. You may hear a noise. Hello. I guess they cut out again. Yeah, Virgin Media did what it did. Surprise, surprise. Wait, is the route cut out? No, it's all good. I've got it back. What did you say, it? No, no, no. It, it's just like disappeared and then reappeared again. It's fine. Oh, it, it's all good. Okay. I can camp. I can keep it going. I guess you're going to restart the stream of the bridge. No, not at all. Oh. It's already it's still going, it just cut out and then it's come oh, back on. Oh, okay. I was going to say. Well, I keep thinking that that was my connection. No, 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 it's, uh, it was mine. It's cutting out. My one cuts out every, like, at least, like, once or twice a week. So we are eight miles from Wanny, which is the last station before um, we arrive at Coral where the yes. video will end. Yes, indeed. Lucky Lodge. What's that? Lock Eye Lodge? No, there's um, there's a place near uh, not too far from uh, Fort William and Spean Bridge in that sort of area. I know what you're on about. Yeah. 
Well, ish. I think I do. Yeah, Oh, I'm just going to put the letter. No. Yeah, my connection's not. It's playing up again a little bit because Google Maps is lagging. Yeah, it's not doing well today. It's not doing well. Not near it. Run. It's on. I don't think they are. I'm just. Are you trying to lurk out geography of Scottish places again? Yes. Well, the line gets the line gets pretty close to the Highland Main Line around the Raw. Looks like an X station over. Yeah. We just pass through. it will show because the track sort of splits. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll shut down YouTube and see if that helps. Right, helps we're gonna we're probably gonna disconnect again bud. Yeah. Yeah, it's about to do it again. Mm. He's still there. You're still there, yeah? Yeah, I am still here. Right, cool, right. We'll just see how long it lasts till you disappear. Yeah. It's been nearly four and a half minutes since we last disconnected. Yeah, I'm not impressed with the way that um, it is at the moment, but it is what it is. Yeah. Oh, I just found the location of that abandoned station that we passed. And it's literally in the middle of absolutely nowhere. So I can see what the point of why that closed. Not far. We are five miles. Five, five miles. So we've not another ten odd minutes to go until. Yeah, about eight minutes. Yeah, we've got seven yeah. minutes now. Yes, yeah, so it's just around a few light curves, and then that's where we start getting into the curvy section again. Indeed. Well, I guess Harry will be watching it tomorrow. Indeed, yes. Got a nice looking thumbnail for it as well. Yeah. Harry trains that is. Oh yeah. Do you know do you know Harry trains, do you? Yeah. Yeah? He's probably gonna be really surprised at the moment or when he sees this. He's well, because you're in really it. Really surprised, huh? What? Because you're in well, it. Well, yeah. Because I'm in it. Well, he does know because I messaged the group chat. Mm. Or 
Scotland's TBA as it is. Oh, right. It's supposed to be Scotland 2020, but now that's probably not going to happen until maybe summer, not likely at all. Oh, down to eight. Oh, it's down to 40. I thought we were going really slow because the. It nope. could be just my volume's not very loud. Not just down very to loud. 40 mile per hour just go on a curve. Well, it's not a very tight curve. No, nope, because we're back up to 50 again. Yeah, we literally. 0 0.05 miles, or. Yeah. I did not. I didn't really see the point in the speed limit going back, back down to forty and then fifty again. If the, that was the smallest curve ever. miles away now. We're doing at 11.12. Two yep. seconds late. It's basically on time. Oh, it's on time now, apparently. Yeah. Oh, and the gradient is very it's weird just, here. It's just going here, there and everywhere, the gradient. Mm. What I really don't with that curve, um, I really don't see the, uh, when we went down from 4, 50 to 40, then 40 to 50, um, we're still, the speed limit is still 50, and we're going around a much tighter curve, like, yeah, I know, very, I think they were a bit over dramatic on that one. You know, I think, I think I can see where, about where we are. There's a couple curves. Why do they call it Rannoch North platform? Because it's just the platform going north, and then you got the Rannoch South platform as well. Oh, which is oh okay, which is the southbound. Yeah, and this is northbound we're going, so. Yeah. Like quite a nice um quite a nice thumbnail. Because my friend he from school he does Roblox videos. Okay. Stuff. Yeah. Surprisingly he's got more subscribers in me than me in a in a small much smaller amount of time. He's on two hundred and eighty five, I'm two hundred and thirty four. Okay. Well, that's not that's not a massive difference. Yeah, it's not the biggest difference in the world. Okay, we're one we're less than one and a half miles from Granite. Yeah, and it's up on the HUD now as well. Yeah. I think it's about one and a half miles away is when the when it comes up on the HUD. Yeah. And this is a very clear downhill gradient. And then I, this looks like there's like a little. Yeah, this. There's a little vibe. Oh, this is a curve and a half. Oh, man. Yeah, it's. That's sudden. Doing around that at 40, this is where it gets more curves, curvy. Oh, I just. And Rannoch is in the middle of nowhere. It's <laughs> like everywhere else. 
well, all that's, you know, on Google Maps it doesn't look like a very sharp curve, but on here it, it, it is. Why do I keep hearing messenger, message noises things, when nobody's messaging? gonna come in quite fast but at least we're on time if we do. Oh well. Yeah. Here is Rannock. Or as I thought it was first called Raynotch. Raynotch. Fair enough. Oh well Southwestern has said they've noticed that there's still people going out. Just like Great Western. Have they now? Well, anyway, here's Rannock. We'll have a look at that whilst we're waiting. Yeah. Well, I just saw it on YouTube. Well, it's like a little screenshot on Ian Paul's transport hub. Oh. Let me get. Is it, it might be. Was it through their Twitter, like Southwestern Railway's Twitter? Might have been. Okay, we'll look at that in a second. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, bent up. Just accepted the request. Oh, that is really risky. Oh. I'm just looking at this weird this thing. What, the SWR one or something different? No, there's this random thing. I, I, it looks really weird. It's weird how this platform basically crosses over into a little junction into a siding here as well. Mm. Bleep, 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 bleep. Okay, the next and final stop on this train sim Carole. journey episode is Carrer, which we will be arriving at shortly. Oh, I don't, I'm not. I was called Carrer because that's my way of pronouncing it. Carrer, Carrer, yeah, Carrer. Yeah. I say both, really. I thought that said twenty-one for a minute, but it's the opposite direction. Over a bridge we go now. Yeah, this is where it, this is where it starts to get curvy again. Yeah, I can tell. And then realistically, just get back onto the messing jar and get the link that you sent me from. And then between Rannoch and Karoor, it's about 30, 13 minutes, 12-13 minutes. 
Oh, GSMR's not being my friend today. See how you like that? One five, not the one five six. <laughs> I don't understand what that means. I know I'm a bit odd talking to trains. <laughs> You're right there, Alex. That's all I'll say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then we got a tunnel coming up soon. Yes, I think this is the one I was talking about. You said that one was after Karor. I just messed around with the reverse by accident there. Um, I, I'm not too sure if it's after or before Karor, to be honest, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah. I mean, I've never seen a wooden tunnel before. If this is it, it'll be very interesting to see it. It doesn't look like there'll be a tunnel here, but I guess there is. Oh, I I'm not too sure, but we'll see. Yes, there is. Yeah, it is the wooden tunnel. It is the one I like. It would be interesting to see it. Yeah, I can tell with that fence there. Get the cab lights on, ready. Mm -hmm. It's only a short tunnel, though. Yeah, I know, just so we can see through it. Yeah, and it doesn't even show up on the HUD either. Here we are. Obviously, won't be as realistic because it's a train simulator. Oh, that's very low. It is indeed very low. I'm just imagining the West Highland line to be being electrified, that would be... <laughs> that would be rather bonkers if I'm being honest with you. Yeah. And then it sort of gets a bit flatter here. Yes. And then as you get cl closer to... Uh, as we get closer to, uh, or as the line gets closer to, uh, what's it called? Correct. Thing with Uh, Fort about William. Fort William. Yeah. Okay. I think that's where it starts to get more hilly and mountainous and stuff. Yeah, it gets more steep, but isn't it? Yeah. And it's weird that the line doesn't, that the line goes up and round. Instead of after Karo, it goes it goes north, and then I thought it would go east, and then join up just before Fort William, but I guess not. It takes the long route. Four and a half miles to go. About three miles out now. Yeah, not far from the 
didn't see it straight. Indeed. Just a nice little reminder about what's coming up after once we leave Kuro in the next in another episode of Trinity Journeys, whenever that would be. We'll then be able to get to Fort William. Mm -hmm. I, I I'm a, I'm a bit confused why Northern speak uh, I'm just gonna talk about Northern quickly. Right. Uh, um, for some reason um, there's the crew to Liverpool service that goes all, all through Manchester. I'm very confused why they, why they had to loop it round Manchester and take the long way. When they could, or maybe it might be because the London Northwestern Railway service already, uh, the London to Liverpool London Northwestern services. They, it's they already. I was going to say the reason why. Winsford. Yeah, um, Winsford Hart. The reason why is because the uh, Liverpool Manchester um, loop, well, the Liverpool crew loops that way to stop at all the local stations and can basically to combine two station uh, two services into one. Oh, that's why it loops all the way around so it can call at all the local stations it needs to. Oh yeah yeah. Just under two and a half miles now. We'll do that in about three minutes. So, yeah. We're doing at, uh, we're doing just under a minute late. It isn't too bad, to be honest. Yeah, it's not bad timing, considering. Yeah, and you've not had the hard up. Uh, right, really. It's a very tricky line to manoeuvre, I'll give you that. Yeah. looking forward to the episode of train sim spotting yeah that one's uh, hopefully going to come up soon it's just very much I haven't really worked on it yet yeah it will be all right yeah oh less just under a mile or yeah, I can see Kuro on the HUD now. 45, 15 and then... Hopefully be able to see the Kuro station house. Yeah, it's like a house slash hotel, isn't it? It's like... Uh... Yeah, it's not well. The... I think the... The, uh... Like, I think... It's an old signal box that there's the station house, and that's like a hotel, a mini hotel of like two bedrooms. And then there's the big rural cafe house thing. Yes. We are now approaching the final stop of this episode, which is Kura. In theory, this train will carry on to Fort William and the Lake, but we're going to um, finish here at Kura for this part. Yeah. Let's pull in first. Get down to 15, stop at Kura in less than half a mile, just round this curve, and then. Yeah, I can see Kuro. Indeed. There's the station house.
and the nearest road is 10, 15 odd miles away. 10, 15 miles to the north. Short so platform. Get up the, huh? Very short platform. Oh yeah. Um, and if anyone for, for that needs road access or wants road access, it'd be much better to go to Tullock, which is the next station up, but we won't be doing that in this episode. Oh right. yeah, it's only two coaches. Yeah, well, I've only got the one coach in, but oh well. Um, anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video from Helensburg Upper to Karura. We've now finished the journey, and we will be continuing on yep. another time. Uh, if you have to like to, indeed. If you have liked what you've seen it, then do like and subscribe, and do leave any comments because we'll get back to them as and when I can. Uh, any recommendations are welcome, so please do leave those in the comments as well. So the next time, as I say, we will be uh, making our way to Fort William. That's uh, that's another time. Oh, oh it's gonna... a bad luck. You didn't complete it. Okay. Yeah, just ignore that. Oh. So I'm just gonna. There um... we go. It's all done. So. <laughs> yeah. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah. So uh, that's that's all done. And uh, I'm going to finish up now. So, the next episode of Tracing Journeys is between Exodus and David and Painton. Uh, but for now, not the Great Western. It is, yeah. And um, for now, though, thanks for watching. And for me and Alex, it's goodbye. Goodbye.